This video is sponsored by Scentbird. More on that later. What? 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 What is up? Green is not Nick. Okay, my chair's so squeaky. What is up? Green is not Nick Nation. And welcome back to another video, guys. I have some sad news because my big news is that I'm moving. Well, I I'm already in the process of moving. I have moved halfway. Um, I'm moving into the same apartment building, but a bigger space because, you know, Bambi and I were two big personalities and with two big personalities, you got to have room to let those personalities thrive. Okay. So we're moving into a little bit of a bigger apartment, you know, vibes are going to be the same, but I will have my own office. Currently I am in my living room, peek behind the curtain. That's my kitchen. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot going on back there. I move in. It's another era. I started doing YouTube in the basement of my house at the beginning of quarantine. Then I went back to college at Belmont University and was doing videos in my house at school. Moved back home in November of 2020. Started doing videos in my bedroom. Moved my office to our guest room in my house. Moved to my basement. Basement to here. And now from here to my new office and my new apartment that is about five doors down. I'm so excited. You will see the space again in the beginning of my next main channel video. But after that, this place is done. This is the one of the last videos in this space. And you know, it was a short time lived, you know, it was one of the shortest eras of my YouTube career being in this space. I was in here for all of September, all of October, all of November, and then half of December. So that's three and a half months. That's not too long compared to some of the other places I've been. Okay, the point is, I want to make something big for the last video, which is why I'm not going to do that because you should never build hype on anything. You don't want to rely on hype for anything. You don't want to have any big hype. What is that? In my so today we're hitting up the content email. Nick is not merch. No, that's not the email. Nick is not green merch at gmail.com and see what some people recommend to me because people are always like, you didn't look at my idea. And so today I'm just going to look through Oh my God. So today we're going to look through some of the ideas I got and uh, sort of get an idea of what people think I should be reacting to, because sometimes I don't look at stuff and I want to explain to people why. The holidays are peeking their little head around the corner and asking you what to get for your friends and family for the Christmas season. Well, does little old Saint Nick have that gift for literally anybody? A Scentbird subscription. Scentbird is a gift that keeps giving year round. It is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. You can pick out a designer fragrance that you want every month with no surprises. And when I say the gift can be for anybody, I'm not kidding. You got your colognes, you got your perfumes, and plenty of unisex designer brands waiting for you to try them out. Are you worried about a last minute gift? Choose from a three, six, or 12 month subscription that you can send directly to the recipient's email and give them that gift immediately. But if the subscription service isn't your thing, Scentbird has gift sets for you to choose from as well with designer brands like Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, and much more. Don't buy a fragrance bottle the size of your head before you have the chance to try it. Why not get a Scentbird bottle that'll cost you $16 and last you a month, and then once you realize you love it, you can get a whole bottle and not waste your money. Oh, but $16 isn't your style? You hate that number? Me too! With my code green is not Nick, you can turn that 16 into an 11 with 30% off your first month. This month, I received Dolce & Gabbana Intenso, a scent that's got a good amount of lavender, hay, basil, I'm just reading off the cheat sheet. They tell you right here what you're gonna smell. It's awesome. I also got Confessions of a Rebel about last night. Love that name. But are you looking for something a little sexier? Well, for you, I got the perfect thing. Michelle Germain, I hope I'm saying that right. Sexual Noir. Look, you can even see the scent right here. Pop that baby out and look at that. Ooh, Sexual Noir. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So remember to use my code green is not Nick to get 30% off your first month. That's $11. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the fun. Here's the first email. I want to shoot myself says, hi, Nick. I love your video so much. Please make a reaction vid to this app called MeChat. It's kind of like if episode and Tinder had a baby. Here's an example of what you can find on the app. And it's a picture of a sexy wolf dog man named Enzo Gomez that says, I will steal a million kisses from you. That actually sounds like a good idea. 
Maybe I should make a video of that. Okay, well, I'll think about it. I think this actually is a good idea. This person, Alexander, says, Hello, renewed favorite. You may remember me. I was that guy that admonished you. I didn't even know that was a word. I'm not afraid to admit it. I didn't know. Admonished means to scold or reprimand. I'm the guy that admonished you for saying something I didn't like in one of your videos. I believe I titled the email issue. Anyways, I believe I was a bit harsh. You're doing wonderfully now. Shortly, I will be sending an email about a YouTube channel I believe needs to end. Thank you kindly, your based fan. Okay, first of all, let's see what Alexander sent me. Okay, he said issue I noticed. Hello, a favorite YouTuber of mine. My name is Alexander. Recently, I've come to watching your videos and I find I enjoy them and consistently agree with your opinions. However, upon watching a video you posted today, I was shocked at something that happened. Although I agree with your stance on the issue presented in the video, at roughly 9.15 on this guy thinks being straight is offensive, you told your followers to show them what we're made of. I personally found this unnecessary and upsetting. I believe in a previous video, you had mentioned that you thought your followers mature enough to make their own decisions. Overall, this was very shocking. This is really all I have to say. I understand that this might be a little weird to reach out, but one of your aforementioned videos, someone emailed you something, so I thought this would be a good way to reach out with kindness regards. Alexander. Okay, well, let's give my thoughts on situations like this. Shout out to Alexander. I believe it wasn't that harsh of an email. Honestly, it made sense. My video previously saying that my followers are more mature enough to make their own decisions still stands. Saying show them what we're made of was a joke. I think the context was... Me chopping my dick off and pretending I'm a girl. And I'm going to use the word pretending because no matter how many times I chop my dick off and how great my wig is, I'm still a man. I was born a man and I'm a man. Oh, only 53 people have come to this video. 54 in have chosen to dislike it. So I think it's time for us to come in here and show them what we're made of, folks. I don't find that necessarily like hurting somebody. You know, YouTube comments is like online, you know, and if someone is being homophobic or hurting other people, I don't really care. If people go and make fun or get mad at that person, like why would I care? If someone is being an ass, then they deserve that. You're putting yourself out there publicly on the internet. You need to be open to consequences if you do hurtful actions to other people who um, don't deserve it. So I don't really care about that stuff. I think I, I never want to like have a mob go after someone who doesn't deserve it or go any further than saying stuff on the internet. There are people who will go as far as like doxing and telling people to like find the email and ruin stuff about these people's lives like i never i don't ever want to do stuff like that i just want to freaking goof on some people and if someone's being a jerk and hurting other people then freaking show them what they're show them show them what we're made of whatever i don't care some other people care about that kind of stuff and they're really serious about it alexander seemed to be nice enough here to you know point it out to me according to alexander now i'm doing better which is awesome. I'm happy about that. Thank you, Alexander. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, favorite YouTuber. Oh, thank you. Here's a good morsel of easy content for you. Their name is It's a Gundam. I love how the subject line is a nasty fellow. And then he goes and says, they are a generally nasty fellow. They seem to just be against everything. If I had to suggest a specific video by just the title and thumbnail, I'd have to pick this one. Here's the channel link. Thank you kindly, your based fan. You think God? Okay, so this is the nasty fellow we're looking at. On TikTok, there are more pronouns than there are people. That's not true. I think there's got to be, what, at least nine pronouns. And there's at least a billion people on TikTok. You think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? It's weird when people criticize people like this, which this is, it's an odd video because there's like, a dog in a cage in the background and there's all this shit all over the ground but the title of the video has me believing that the main target of these videos are going to be people that are probably a part of the lgbtq plus community people who maybe go by different pronouns and i feel like saying do you think god fears what he's created it's kind of dumb because it's kind of a stupid thing to say when you have people who actually are like murdering people out there and like directly hurting people. And you're like, the thing that God fears is this person who dresses up in their basement wearing clothes that you don't, that you think are weird. I don't know. I've been watching a lot of documentaries recently. 
This is the guy we're dealing with. The guy who's super against pronouns. He looks like this. Is this like Captain Falcon cosplay? And I realized that children around the world, especially in third world countries, have real issues. Like Venezuela, for instance. Okay, so people in third world countries have real issues, which is why I'm going to make fun of people who have other pronouns. Like, don't you think you're kind of being contradictory? Shouldn't you say, okay, these people have real issues. So maybe we should talk about that. No, if that's your point, then why are you coming back and saying, okay, let's make fun of people who have different pronouns? What, what does this have to do with anything? Things are so bad in Venezuela, you could move to Argentina and live large. But the real issue isn't hunger, poverty. I'm glad that American children and Zoomers are- Why are there all these channels where you just cut to like, Valorant or whatever I'm watching here. This Valorant? I think so, right? You cut the Valorant and then you're talking about third world country. What does this have to do with anything? I wish that I could make videos where I don't have to show my face and then I could just start playing split gate. Glad right. that American children and Zoomers are focusing on the important things like gender. Okay, so the thesis of the video so far is there are people in third world countries who are going through a lot of issues. So why are all these Zoomers online worrying about things like gender? Can't I say the same thing to this guy? Oh, there's so many people dying in third world countries. Why are you worrying about people who are worrying about gender? Why are you worrying about the people in the third world countries? That's not my hypothesis. If, if that was the thesis of my project, why did I say hypothesis? I'm so stupid. I haven't been in school in a year. If that was my thesis, then I would be going and helping people in third world countries. But that's not how the world works. You can't just be like, oh, since this pressing issue is happening, everyone needs to be focusing on that issue. No, that's why you're here doing your job. That's why I'm here doing this job. Of course, there's worse things going on in the world, but you can't just be focusing on the worst thing ever or else you're never going to be focusing on yourself. Like the gender E. Do you see this person next to me? E is my friend. C has had to put up with a lot to get to where Purr is today. Wait, what? E, Z, and Purr. Like purr like a cat? <laughs> purr like a cat? You gotta be crazy to be called purr like a cat. I mean, are you kidding me? All right, that's crazy. Let me get back to my uh, game of Valorant here. <laughs> Let's keep playing that. I guarantee you I'd have an easier time learning someone's neo pronouns that you think are so weird versus trying to figure out how to play Valorant. I don't, I literally don't understand how that game works. There's all these different characters. You look at the screen, I mean, what's going on here? I feel like I'm trying to turn on someone's shower. I feel like that joke's been told a million times. How unoriginal can I be? Meow purr. I just want He's to let Glint funny. know that Thon is valid, what? that verb pronouns are valid, and that Sarah identity is valid. So it's Sarah, in okay, whoa. Listen. The thing is with these neo pronouns, is you can look at them and make fun of them all day for easy content because you're going to have new neo pronouns pop up where people feel more valid with these pronouns. And it's way easier for you to go, okay, so that pronoun Z, ha 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 ha. That pronoun Stan, okay, let's make a joke about that. And you can go on forever. It, it, it is a gold mine for making fun of people who didn't do anything wrong. And I feel like that's what he's doing. He's cashing in on something that he doesn't get. And guess what? If I talk about my personal experience, I don't fully understand neo pronouns either, but I'm open to learning because you know what? It doesn't really hurt anybody and no one's attacking me for being open to learning. How does that affect me? You know, someone else wants to be called something on TikTok. You don't even ever have to interact with them. They're on TikTok and I'm sitting here. How does that affect me? I don't have to do anything. I sit here, I say, okay. Sure, but this guy, he's like, let me hop on Valorant and make a whole video about how much this pisses me off. Meow purr, that's funny. Sare is an identity now? That's, there's a Sare race of people? It sounds like I'm on an- Did he just say there's a Sare race of people? Do you think that neo pronouns constitute your race? Like is, can Gundam go from being white to being she, her? Is that what you're trying? Is that? You know what the problem is today? Everybody wants to be special. <laughs> Look what I can do. But now that everything's. It was like that, that right wing conservative show again, where they just keep throwing in pop culture clips. 
and it makes no sense whatsoever. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I get it. It's hard to understand Neo pronouns. I'm the same way. I am still trying to learn how they work. I haven't really interacted with people in my real life where I've gotten to experience that, but I'm always open to you know having that experience and i uh, let's see if we can find anything else here before we wrap it up 57 frogs that's a lot of them you should play weird games on the website girl girls go games you know how many people ask me this people ask me to look at girls go games every time i stream i'll do one game i'll do one good girls game go games and i'll show you guys how bad it is this website is not as good as you guys remember uh, Insta girls Christmas dress up. I wanted to do something, you know, something holiday themed. Oh, that's loud. Choose your Insta girl. I want to pick this one. Okay. So I have a thousand dollars I get to spend? Why is this so loud? Let me turn this down. Why did I? Okay, now the sound's completely gone. What happened? What happened to my game? Dun, 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 Do I only have a thousand dollars? I can't even afford this stuff? What if I take a picture? Yo! Okay, so I have to see how many hearts I can get and likes equal currency in this world. Okay, let's get this shirt. Okay, that's nice and classy. Let's get some festive earrings. Okay, let's see how they like it. Oh my gosh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Brand new hairstyle? Do I change up the hairstyle? Maybe bangs? I, I didn't choose, this is black hair. Why did I get blonde hair? This game sucks ass. Oh, so now I gotta look at the goals. I'm looking for a hashtag cozy look. People are gonna hate my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta get a hashtag cozy look. Okay, so let's go with some of these. I hate these sweat. I hate these tights. I don't like this sh this stuff. Let me take another picture. Okay, yeah, I get it. It's not it. I just need money. I'm gonna lose my mind. I, I hate this game. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm sorry. These sexual cooking reels are making me insane. Hi, Nick. I tried to send a DM, but I'm not sure how often you read those, but I found these guys who make weirdly sexual cooking reels. They sensually need bread, and sometimes they just spit or something. I can't help, I can't keep getting these on my feed. The original guy, Cedric Lorenzen. Okay, thank you, Arden. I appreciate that. Okay, let's see this. I don't know if I can show this on YouTube. I mean, the food looks good. Before I say anything, let me look at this one with the hole in the top. Oh, it's just the hole. One of the many things that sex education lacks is the discussion about pleasure. More education awareness on that part would encourage women to maybe fake fewer orgasms and men be more aware that it takes more than a quick one, two, bang, and bust. You know what? Well, with the rest of this, you know what? I think, I don't think this is half bad. I didn't read into it too much. Sure, it makes me uncomfortable. It might make some more people uncomfortable and I'm not going to follow him. But he seems to be in the right place with trying to be more open about sex education and sex awareness. And the videos are really well shot. The food looks good. I don't know. I might be pro Cedric here. Okay, now this one. Be a good man and give her a good licking. Hashtag naughty boy. Yeah, I don't know about... Oh, but this is nice. See, this is sad. He gets great shots too. I mean, look at this. This shot right here when it goes across. Oh, oh man, I love that. Okay, wait, what, what does this comment mean? Always respect women, consent is key, no means no. Oh, that was from him. I thought that was from someone else and I was like, did he do something wrong? I was like, did he mess up? Okay, shout out to Cedric. Cause I mean, it seems like he said there his heart's in the right spot and he's doing some good stuff. I mean, I have to say like, I'm pleasantly surprised with where where this ended. Ow, dude. What's the deal? Anyways, thank you for watching. Sorry about my chapped lips. Please blur that out. I'm excited about the new place. I'm excited for all the new memories we're going to make there. The next chapter of Green is Not Nick Nation is on the horizon. Thank you for sending the emails. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you all. Have a great one. Bye-bye now.